Like in a game of football, the pitch is your financial center stage. Like scoring goals is your topmost priority, there might be some obstacles in the runway, right? So how can you assure in achieving your financial goals, there are no certain obstacles? Come join our upcoming webinar to clarify and get to know more about how to reach the runway and score your goals very efficiently. Are there great new ideas? Firstly, I used a word which probably is not fitting with the current market context and that word is great. So, if we redefine that question into are there new ideas and when we see people asking around the same question, what came to my mind is, is there a hurry to find new ideas? And the answer is no. It's a very simple answer. Why do I say this? When valuations are elevated, we need not feel compelled to find new ideas. We can study new companies, but you need not find an investment idea in them. The study would be academic. So we understand businesses when we have the time to do it. And when you don't find the valuations compelling, it's probably a good time to do this work of understanding more businesses. What I have seen is when I do this, it usually is a market where the valuations are high. I can't find companies at very attractive valuations. So I look around new businesses, new companies and start understanding them better. There are a number of companies. They would have made a top and retrace 10-20%. Maybe I feel that it has a long way to go. So it's a good time to understand that company. A lot of people think that it's a time to buy itself and jump in. I don't do that. I'd rather understand the company and uh, wait patiently. Uh, by understanding the company early enough, in the middle of a wrong, by understanding a company early enough in the middle of a long correction, I give myself a lot of time to think and decide what is a good valuation at which I would like to invest in that company. Now, this time period which I give myself is extremely critical and only when I start early, I am able to give myself this time. Why do I not have any anxiety about finding new ideas? Because uh, per annum, I realize that I don't need more than four or five ideas. That's the highest I need among listed securities and we have so many analysts who each can come up with four or five ideas. So it's not positive of ideas that's the problem. Each of the friends whom I regularly interact with is capable of giving five ideas. So we have analysts who work in our firm, we have our friends, our social uh, investment circle who all have ideas. So the problem is not ideas. The problem is, how do I filter from all these ideas to just get to 5? Inevitably, most of the time, the major ideas in this 5 don't come from this wide circle. They come from my own understanding of ideas for a very long time. That's where the comfort is higher for me. It's a personality thing, but I'm just sharing you how I feel about it. And typically from the previous market cycles, I get idea in the next market cycle. So these times when you can't find ideas at valuations that are attractive or compelling are extremely good to understand businesses. So you pick up industries like which are in a very, very early stage of a long growth cycle. If they can grow for the next 20, 30 years. Ideally, those industries must be understood now. Yeah, their valuations are crazy. I understand that. But there is nothing stopping us from developing our knowledge about their industry, bringing some appreciation of what is good about their industry, knowing what is not so good about their industry, and fine-tuning our appreciation of that company and our assessment of the management. So that is what 
I think is a good thing to do in times like the present. How does this help me? It helps me because I don't have to go down the quality curve or the quality ladder. Because if I am going to try to find new ideas in any market, then I am flogging myself precisely to go down the quality ladder or the quality curve, whatever you call it. I do not want to do that. So, to avoid that, we study companies. Also, interestingly, I am looking to study companies only above a certain benchmark in quality. So, I am not looking to action them. So, I am free to go and study the best companies. For example, today you can study the best durable companies, consumer durable companies. I am just giving one example. Today you can study the best QSR companies. You can study the best logistic companies. Two years ago, you could study the best travel companies, right? Two years ago, you could study the best rating companies. They became actionable after one year. Travel companies were actionable in the last two years. Whatever I studied in 2020, 21, I was able to action in the subsequent two years. Cap goods, which are studying from 2012, got actioned in 2019-18. So, five, six years of thinking about those companies, seeing those results, uh, hearing views of people, getting peer validation, both favorable and unfavorable. All this takes a lot of time and I think that times like this are ideally suited for doing all these things. So, I am not worried that new ideas are not actionable. In fact, I am not even looking for them. To action ideas, I am looking at ideas which I have been working on for the last 4-5 years. The old ideas are what become actionable first. But the ideas which I am now exploring will probably become actionable over the next few years. So, there is no anxiety. And if you ask me whether some of these ideas would turn out to be great, I am quite hopeful that at least a handful would. I told you I need only 5 ideas. That is the highest number. Even if I get 2, I would be happy. Because to take a concentrated bet in an idea, you need conviction at a certain level. Anything below that is not going to help you at all. Rather look for that conviction than for actionability. So, there is no need to be anxious about finding great new ideas. But I would be anxious to study new ideas because some of them could be great in the long run. Thank you for watching this video.